Hi Puggles, it's Miss Katie, and I am so excited to do this lesson with you today. Today is lesson 4.2, and if you remember, last time we learned a new big truth, big truth number four. Do you remember what it was? It's we, like this, we give thanks. We give thanks, okay? And our big verse number four is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107.1, okay? And I want you to look at my picture today. Oh, look at that sweet picture. It says right here, I thank God for helping me know him. And if you see that girl, she is just snuggling with her mama. Do you see the joy on her face as she prays with her mom? That's because she knows Jesus. Jesus is God's son who loves us and gives us joy. Today we're learning that we get to thank God for helping us know him. Okay, and our Bible story today is just about that, helping us get to know Jesus, get to know him. So put your listening ears, turn your listening ears on. We're going to start our Bible story. Jesus wants everyone to know that he loves them, even people who do bad things. There was a man named Saul, and he was trying to hurt God's church. But Jesus wanted to know Saul. And one day, Saul was on his way to the city of Damascus. He was going to hurt some people in the church there. Suddenly, Saul saw a blinding white light, and he heard a voice. Saul found out that it was Jesus who was talking to him. The Bible tells us that Saul became blind and had to be led into the city. There, one of Jesus' friends named Ananias prayed for Saul. Saul was healed and he began to know Jesus. He learned to love Jesus more and more and spent lots of time praying to him and telling other people about him. Jesus changed him to be a kind and good man who knew Jesus well. God gives each of us an invitation to know him, including you. So, in our Bible story, Saul, he became blind, didn't he? He lost his sight. Well, what happens when you when you close your eyes? Let, let's try it, let's close our eyes. Well, it becomes dark. Now we can't see, can we? No, we can't. Well, I'm going to cover my eyes with this scarf, okay, or it's blindfold. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness, it's even darker than when I closed my eyes and I really cannot see anything. Hello? 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 Are you there, Buggles? Are you there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, that is a little bit scary. I really couldn't see anything and it was dark. Oh my goodness. Well, it was difficult to be seen to, or to see. Do you think that it would be dangerous too if I tried to stand up and walk around with that on? Yes, I would probably trip or fall or something. Well, it is hard not to be able to see with your eyes, but Saul couldn't see anything and he couldn't see something even more important, you guys, before he knew Jesus. Saul couldn't see that Jesus loved him. He didn't understand that, but God helped Saul to know him and his love for Saul. God helps us to know him too, and we thank God for helping us to know him. All right, I have some questions to ask you guys from our lesson, okay? All right, so put those thinking caps on, get ready to answer some questions. Question number one is, what happened when Saul met Jesus? What happened when Saul met Jesus? Do you remember? Well, Saul realized that Jesus loved him and Saul trusted Jesus to be his savior. He sure did. Okay, question number two. Who is the most important thing for us to know? Who is the most important thing for us to know? Hmm. I'll tell you. Well, the most important person for us to know is Jesus because he is God and he loves us. 
Remember, he loves you. He loves me. That's the most important for, thing for us to know, but also the most important person for us to know is Jesus. Let's go ahead and end our lesson in prayer, okay? Bow your heads and close your eyes. All right. Thank you, God, for helping me to know you. Thank you, God, for always loving us. Thank you, God, for these puggles. And thank you for their families that are helping them to watch these lessons and to come to know you more. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye, puggles.